Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing the top 10 most anticipated comics of the month. So let's get started. Number 10 for me is Weapon X-Men issue 1. What really brought my attention to this one is just the different versions of Wolverine. I know we've seen a lot of alternate universe versions of different characters in the past five years or so because of the popularity of Into the Spider-Verse, but we haven't seen it for Wolverine. And Wolverine does have a lot of characters where he has alternate versions, and I do want to see what it's like to see them interact with each other. So that's number 10 for me. Moving on to number nine, which is Feral issue one. I have not been able to catch up with Stray Dogs, but I know I missed out on something by not reading that that honestly when it was coming out so now they have a, a cat version of that which is feral issue one and i was like all right let, let's see what this is about let's see if uh, what i missed with stray dogs so that's number nine for me moving on to number eight which is miss marvel mutant menace issue one this continuation of the previous volume now that miss marvel is used to being a mutant what does miss marvel stories look like past just figuring out that she is part of the X-Men, right? Like what, what is her day to day and what makes this volume going to be different from the previous, even though it's the same creative team. So that's, that's something I'm curious about with the issue with my number eight pick. Moving on to number seven, which is I Heart Skull Crusher issue one. I am a sucker for a sports story and this one just looks fun and vibrant. And I like that it's a sport that is kind of made up. It's not like, here's a baseball story, here's a soccer story. It's like, no, here is this new sport that we're going to tell you about. So uh, again, I'm a sucker for this. It's the writer who wrote the the Mary Marvel book from DC about a year ago, which I also really love. So I'm, I'm very excited for this one. Moving on to number six, I think this is going to be on a lot of people's most anticipated list, and that's Ultimate X-Men issue one. We had Ult Ultimate Spider-Man that blew everyone's minds, Ultimate Black Panther that did really well in the spec market, and now you have X-Men, which I Obviously, is already a very popular franchise, but you also have Peach Pinocchio, who is a very well-known um, artist and, and usually is a very big spec artist as well. So I'm curious to see what vibe she's going to bring to X-Men and the Ultimate Universe as a whole. So just as a fan of the X-Men Ultimate Universe, I'm, I'm curious about this book and, and just seeing, again, how it's going to reinvent the franchise. Moving on to number five, which is the spectacular Spider-Man issue one. This is, a, you know, some big names in Spider-Man. Greg Wiseman returning to this title. It's going to be a different aspect from the, the television show, but he is returning to the namesake of the TV show. And then Humberto Ramos is a very well-known Spider-Man artist. And, and what I'm most excited for is that Miles Morales and Spider-Man are going to be teaming up and having a book together. And I, I do think that's going to be a lot of fun. Moving on to number four, which is Jackpot and Black Cat issue one. Every pre previous Jackpot and Black Cat series has been a lot of fun and I want to see why they're going on an adventure together what that dynamic is like now that Jed McKay is not writing Black Cat it's been a while since uh we've had another writer on Black Cat as well so we'll, we'll see what ends up happening with that volume moving on to number three which is Giant Size Spider Gwen issue one I've been loving the current Spider Gwen mini and seems like this is going to be the the final stamp of Earth 65 and Gwen being in Earth 65 so what is the big conclusion and, and what stories are we going to get from there. And as a Spire Gwen fan, I'm glad she's getting that spotlight before we get to see her in a new ongoing series. That's going to be very different than we're, we're used to for the character. Moving on to number two, which is Web of Spider-Man issue one. There's a lot of Spider-Man on this list, but there's also a lot of Spider-Man titles coming out. And this one I'm really excited for because it's the future of Spider-Man. It's teasing what's going to come. And I love books like that. I like being teased and I like being... Uh, I like figuring out things that we could get excited for and be like, oh, cool, I could wait for this book in six months and, and this is a, a thread that was played off of in this issue. So I, I just, I like figuring out some spoilers. So I'm excited for that and hopefully it will, it will actually um, also shock us. I, I hope there's a lot of moments that, as Spider-Man fans that we'll, we'll enjoy there. Uh, moving on to number one, I normally don't do this. I usually do issue ones or last issues, but this is something I'm just super excited for because of the, the characters that are being showcased. And in Screen Arrow issue 10, I'm a huge Mia Deirdre fan. We don't get a lot of Mia Deirdre. And then you, you throw an arrow wet. Uh, you know, these are characters you, you just don't get the pleasure of reading all the time. So just to see this group of female Green Arrow characters come together for an issue. I'm, I'm just very excited for it as a fan of, of these characters. So uh, yeah, that's my number one pick. Let me know in the comments below what are the books you're most excited for. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.